This is the come up show where that feel good music lives. Real recognized, you We're here in Toronto with the one and only Sean Price. What's good, fam? How you doing? Yo, what up? This is Sean Price, and this is the come up show.com, man. I'm out here, man. Canada, what's good? Boo! I seen the interview on OK Player uh, yesterday. Actually, have you have you had a chance to read it? Yet? No. No. Have you heard anything about it yet? No, no, I haven't. Uh, no, no, no. It was a, it was a good. Uh, it was a good article. Obviously, a lot of people have seen it. Um, I, I, the, the writer said that one, one. He, he wrote a paragraph about this, and I want, I want to read it to you, and I want you to tell me what you think. So he said his dedication to the ultra hardcore street rap, and his refusal to deviate from his aggressive. Uh, thundering flow has meant that while he's kept a core audience, uh, he's not always drawn in new listeners. Right. Do you agree with that and what do you think about it? I just make what I make, man, and I, and I, and I stick with it, man, you know? I've done other songs. I've done a, song, a remix with Destiny Child Girls. You know what I mean? But you know, that ain't my shit, though. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, I did it, but I didn't, that don't mean I like it. So I want to do shit I like, you know. I don't make sucker girl songs and all shit, man. Yeah, and I, I think this relates to the next question that we have, where you say like, I I don't give a fuck anymore. You don't you don't care what people. Yeah, I don't care, like you know what I mean, like. At this point in my career, you know, you try to make joints for the radio and make it for this. I don't fuck all that. I make what I want to make. And if you catch on, good. If not, man, fuck it. I don't care. Yeah. And, and he said when, when he started to have that kind of attitude, people start caring about Yes, that's what's so ironic. Like, as soon as I don't give a fuck, yeah. I'm on the radio. You know, we did figure four. They played figure four on the radio. Then I went to the studio, me and I went to the PS studio, my DJ, my, my homeboy. And um, what we did, shut the fuck up. They played it the next, they made a, we made a clean version, they played it the next week. They just started playing my stuff, then um, even when I did a, um, the radio show with Enough, I told them, I don't give a fuck about none of this shit, that's why y'all playing it now. Yeah. So yeah, that's how ironic it is, but yeah, it's true. Was that, is that a tip that you get to the artists that out there now, just do your thing, don't give a fuck what anybody says? I mean, I can't tell them the artists what to do, everybody's story is different, but I actually don't care. Like, I don't. I'm not looking to make a radio hit, you know, if you if go on the radio, fine, if not, yeah, that's not stopping nothing, I'm not discouraged. Can you tell me about uh, when uh, the time in your life you started to take the music thing as, as a very seriously because so before in the, in the, before you used to fuck around, uh, you used to have fun with it, but there was a decision where you're like, all right, now I'm doing this for real. Well, what made you make that decision? Uh, I really wasn't doing shit with my life, you know, I was fucking around, you know, hustling and, you know, and when, you know, if it wasn't for rock, rock made me uh, realize that I could, you know, actually get make a career out of it, you know what I mean? He trained me, you know, to make a career out of it. So it was like, you know, once me and Rock hooked back up, because I knew Rock all my life, but you know, I was into something else. I was doing this kind of crime, he was doing that kind of crime. So once we hooked back up, he made me realize I can get money. So it was like, yeah, when me and Rock hooked back up, yeah. Nowadays, you got the internet, right? And you have that that building. How has that helped you have, and helped what you've doing uh, so far? I mean, financially, it helped me a lot, you know? Hustling versus and all that, you know? As far as, like, I don't know what it's doing. We'll see. We'll see by the sales. Yeah. You know, people talk a lot of shit, but your sales is the truth, so we'll see. Do, do you think the this, this sales are the truth, the album sales are the truth, or more of a sh the uh, show, the show? Kind of. Um, like I was telling them, like I was saying to PF, in the car, man, you know, people steal a lot of music now. But at one time, it was easy to steal cable. Now that shit is hard. So, whatever they doing, we need to follow suit. You know what I mean? For real, so. I don't care who hot, I don't care who dropped. It's 
my time, nigga, I'ma do what it do, Ock. Cracking my two socks, stacking my shoe box. Money making Mr. Saab shoes is too hot. So obviously you're working on a solo al album uh, that's coming out. We're going to talk about that. But right now there's something that's coming out in the new feature is uh, with Black Milk and Guilty Sim Simpson called Random Axe. <coughs> yeah, Random Axe. That's, yeah, me, Black and Guilty is done. Um, it's fire. It's crazy. I can't wait for y'all to hear it, man. I got a song called Chewbacca, man. It's my favorite record on there, man. She's retarded. <laughs> yeah, Chewbacca. I said Chewbacca. Deuce, deuce, papa, the rock in your shoes, papa. Two shot her, neck in your new snotter. Mach 3 verse your 4, who crews hotter? Random. Everybody on your team is, everybody on your team but goodness. Why you do that, rapper? Fucking new jack rapper. Flinch when I walk by, cause I do stack rappers. Shawna, Shawna Ball Bevican. Deadly dose of the dope shit, black tar heroin. The best out ball for ball, Paul, this God giving talents, be my hump do a law. You got no skills, you got no talent, your shit no frills in your bitch tar salad. Oh, we got a song called The Hex. It's, it's dedicated to my man Hex Murder, but it sounds like hell. Yeah. Yep. Can, you, can you tell me about that? Because uh, obviously you, Guilty Simpson, another dope MC, and Black Milk, which is one of the craziest producers right now, and doing this thing, like, you guys in a room, man, like, what, what, what was that like? Uh, Black would play the beat. Black would play the beat, and he'd be like, yo, son, he's a writer verse to this. I go, yeah. I go in the room. Guilty and other right here is... I'll be like, whoever done first, go in first. You know what I mean? Write and say it. Listen to it, they be like, you know. They go sweet. That's the, that's the word in Detroit, sweet. You know what I mean? They're in New York, sweet might call you sweet. They punch them in the mouth. But in Detroit, sweet means, yeah, that shit is. So, you know, if I spit a verse and black on sweet, I'm like, all right, bro. You know, I won. You know what I mean? So, I got a lot of sweet. I got a lot of sweet verse. <laughs> <laughs> Give work to my workers and they work the streets Back in the white beamer, level 4 armor Roll the window down, let the metal roll contra no At the album Mike Tyson in 2011 uh, Is it true I was reading that after this album that's it? Like you don't... don't. I'm gonna do, I got one more project with L Bell okay. Called The Pill After that I don't know what I'm gonna do man You know what I mean? Uh, start developing PF Cutting Son His son is... <laughs> his son is awesome yeah. How old is K? Five. He's awesome. Yeah, man. Yeah. Okay. We, we and P have going Joe Jackson. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Sean P, I, I, uh, is there anything else that you wanted to say to the people who are? Nah, I talk too much, man. Just let you know, enjoy the show. Yeah. This is the come up show where that feel good music lives. Real, recognize, real. And we out. You no know talents. I eat hot MCs like cold salads. I'm so valid. Trust the word. Find me in the ghetto. Puffin' herbs. Murder city madman stacking bitch.